putting the three coins on there and just explaining it's a very simple brute force. Nothing, nothing, kind of, nothing subtle in this, nothing, that, no, nothing clever or logical, but it just always works. <laughs> and, and it really is just three false transfers in a row, but with little, some little subtleties on. Basically saying, uh, my job is to show you things that are amazing. I'm going to give you three you know, moments where you feel astonished. Three points, three moments. So I start by picking up whichever the biggest coin is. Uh, and I do a false transfer into my left hand. Uh, the exact false transfer I use is just kind of, you know, as the fingers close, pulling it back into finger palm okay. with the other hand. Then in that same action, this is a, it's a nice repetitive one, two, three. So the first coin is placed apparently in the hand. Second coin gets placed on top, like the um, the balls, you know, balls and net move. Yeah. And the third one gets put on top as well. Then. I hold uh, this hand near there, but you know, gesturing over here, and my body language is all pointing that here is the action place, which makes sense. I've just put the coins there. Then in a, the, I basically open and drop the hand, so the impression is that the other coin somehow vanished as the other first two fell on top of it. And I pause maybe half a second to let it register that that coin has vanished, and then straight away produce the coin and place it onto the hand. So it's a very quick vanish appear. Mm -hmm. You know, they react to that mm -hmm. solidly. As they're doing that, whichever is the biggest leftover coin, I take in my right hand and just gesture two coins, two moments remaining in this position, getting ready for a false transfer. Um, I then do the, again, that move that is in so many hanging coins routines, where I false transfer into the hand holding the coin. So it's basically a false, same move, but just this hand is holding a coin at the same time. I put the, pen, the last coin on top, same before. And then again, at that one, two, three rhythm, I reach over and pick up this coin and do a you know, magic wand like wave thing. No logic to it, it just gives you a wand principle reason to hold the mm -hmm. hand. But again, focus is all over here. Same move. And then this time, and this is important, I turn the hand over and as I open the hand, I drop it onto the coin so it gets a clink. So you get no clink here and drop them onto their hand. And again, pause to let them register. Go into the same position. Final coin is going to obviously, I actually say obviously to them because they're not stupid. Go from here and join those two over there. Then as I do so, it's false transfer again. Pick up both the coins, wave. And then I do this move where you basically, you pretend to be adjusting the coin inside your hand a bit. I throw it up in the air, and then that same move to drop the clink onto the other two. Mm -hmm. And then just step away, leaving them with the coins on their hand. No. Okay, three coins, three amazing moments. Uh, first amazing moment is we put the coins in this awkward situation. And the first one was, of course, amazing. Uh, two coins, two more moments left. And the second one goes across. And then the final one goes to join them. And goes across. Perfect. Fine. Good.